you're going to love this. It's a story about a little train called Syrupite. She wasn't pretty, she wasn't glamorous, but she did work very hard. Sadly, after a long career, Syrupite was abandoned and left to rot. But don't worry, this story has a happy ending. Syrupite worked at the world-famous Garrett Engineering Works in Leyston, Suffolk. Garrett made steam engines, and Syrupite lugged parts, tools and engines backwards and forwards from the factory to the mainline station. But by the turn of the century, this proud little train had fallen into disrepair. The Longshot Museum, which is all that remains of the Garrett Works, bought Syrupite home in 2004. Six years and £100,000 later, she's back. And it's largely been down to this man, Trevor Wrench, driver, engineer and lover of all things steam. I'm afraid to say, yes, most of it has been me. Uh, volunteers have done a lot of the cleaning down and the polishing and the painting, but all the, the nuts and bolts of it has mostly been me. Syrupite will now be the museum's star attraction, but there are also traction engines here and steam rollers. And it's thought the long shop from which the museum got its name was the first production line in the world. At the moment, Syrupite can only go backwards and forwards on a tiny bit of track in the car park. It would be nice one day to get a bit longer line, whether in Leyston or take it somewhere else to stretch its legs, but for now we're just in the car park. You can still see a bit of the track and the dream is that one day the track will be restored and Syrupite will once again trundle backwards and forwards between here and the mainline station. For now, Trevor and Syrupite will have to be content with the museum car park. But at least she's back. Back home, where she belongs. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Leyston. Isn't she fabulous? And just so you know, the museum is open on Saturday when people can see Syrupite in action and admission is free. I liked Mike's overalls. I thought it looked very <laughs> fetching.